And we are back with some more Umineko when they cry. Um, where we last left off. So far I've learned that, uh, the Beatrici that, uh, Battler attempted to revive is, uh, you know, is the chick Beato. And not the, uh, the old Beato that, uh, from the previous, uh, um, uh, episodes. Well, so it may not be the actual Beato, although, however, I, I feel like according to the Czech Beato, then ba it's going to take Battler a while to, uh, you know, train her to, to be the way she is. The, aka the thousand year old Beato Ricci, and then, you know, although, <laughs> according to her, uh, there's absolutely no way that it will take a thousand years. I, I mean, there's got to be like some sort of a training and method. But the only way for a battler to make Bieto act like that is, you know, trying to mimic it. Because considering that chick, Bieto is just more of a game piece in a way. I don't know. This is a. There's a lot of weird things, according to my own reader's perspective, and a lot of, uh, you know, putting my thoughts to it. This is a part of the reason why uh, it can be this way. Oh, it's just Miko. Oh, right, because the um, Angie is now the uh, assistant to uh, um, Hachija. Or, uh, I just call a featherine of the subject. I, I, I get confused by the two names is because it's usually um, it's that. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's continue. The boat carrying the relatives docked at the harbor. They left the boat one by one, making fun of Valor. Oh, right, that. The the, the one segment with the um, Shannon um, I went. Um, in a conversation with Cannon during the um, setting up the guest house. I always thought it's kind of unimportant, but I feel like this was something that correlated to, like, from episode two. I was like, hmm. I see. A little bit of a added a sort of romance development. Goda wasn't the only one to greet them. Cannon was there, too. Oh, good old Goda. Ain't, ain't, what a nice guy. <laughs> Nagatabi, oh, Canon. Yeah, usually it's just only Goda doing the escorting. So, so. Goda complimented Cannon in a whisper. Cannon ignored this, just looking just a little sour, and continued to greet the incoming relatives. Oh god, we got Maria again. Yeah, no kidding. Goda san was go de no chef de irasherunda, eh? Conosimani Kuru, you eat no tanosimisa. Coe de gozaimasu Batola Sama, Doka Taizai to no Sokujua, Gokitaita da Kereva, Saiwai desu. So we are tanosimida, eh? Yoroske. Uh, they look pretty upbeat right there. ガノン君もお久しぶりね。今日は元気そうね。よかった。そ、そうでしょうか。そうね。顔色が悪くないわ。血色がいいというか、目つきが凛々しくなったという。yeah, this time in the... Yeah. This is, I think this is probably the first time a cannon came over to the dock. 
to uh, greet the uh, the remaining relatives. I mean, the rel remaining uh, Ushiromiya family members. So. ははっ。成長期なんだろ。そうして少年は大人になってくんだな。普段のあんたは今にも貧血で倒れちゃいそうな顔ばっかしてるのに。今日は少し違うわ。正気があるんや。男子は3日あれや成長するもんなんやで。
That's for damn sure. And, and I'm pretty sure George is like, well, and ain't no one is gonna stop me. Whether they, they're against, for or against it, I am gonna get the fuck out of it. I'm gonna take Shannon and get the fuck out of here. Jessica thought Cannon was sad because Shannon would be leaving, that this new mental state had caused a change in his behavior. And Cannon realized that Jessica was probably thinking this. So he spoke to her clearly and honestly because he wanted her to know. Oops. God damn it. Say so you will stop working here if Shannon ever quits. Oh my god, this is actually kind of fucked up that I skipped through it. Okay, well, that's the thing, though. I I get I really jittery when I when I click through things. じゃあ、カノン君もやめちゃうの？今は分からなくなりました。やめたら。お嬢様という太陽が照らしてくれた何かをまた見失ってしまいそうだから。I see, shining like the sun. Jessica, Jessica could only stare blankly, unable to understand what he was saying. However, she did realize that he was trying to tell her something important, and so she was able to accept that his new next words were neither a lie nor. Joke. Oh, he said it. He finally, he finally, uh, manned up this time, that without being, and, and without a sense of being jaded. And there you have it. Happy ending. We can all pack things up there. あなたの太陽のごとき生き方を僕も一緒に歩んでみたい。あなたとなら家具と下げ済んだ自分から決別できるかもしれない気がする。カノン君は家具じゃない。そして使用人になるために生まれてきたのでもない。年頃の男の子
from a negative development to a positive development in this one. Or, you know, it could be the, you know, the, uh, the decision on the, uh, based on the tail itself. Or episode, that is. That's the thing, though, right? Like, Hachijo Toya said tales, and I call it Neko, like, episodes, so. だから no matter how long it takes, no. let the line shine the beacon within your path. ちょっと、その、カノン君に迷惑をかけるかもしれないし。そうですね。姉さんたちもそうしてるらしいし。おへい。私は <laughs> Cannon hung his head at a loss for words for some time, but it was true. If Shannon hadn't told him about the engagement, he probably wouldn't have been having this conversation at this moment. Yeah. If she had one in the seven, none of that shit would even like progress. It, it would have just remained like I don't know, pretty stiff or stale or however you can call it this way. I don't know. There, there wouldn't have been any uh, prior notion to this, you know. You can call it that. So nakoto itchette. Shannon no hanashi o kiitete. You were pretty jealous as well. Okay, so it's not only canon that was concerned over it is also Jessica as well but I don't, I don't know how is that even the issue when like see that's the thing though I don't really see how is this even the issue for Canon and Jessica to be jealous at Shannon when those two have a, some sort of interest with each other you know I mean it was it was hinting at someone in like the previous episodes too In truth, it wasn't quite like that for either of them. They've been shown the courage needed to speak up and tell the one you love how you feel. That's what pushed both Cannon and Jessica forward. Jessica <laughs> じゃ、さん。うん。今はそれでいい。だから私も
本当の名前があるんでしょきっとカノンの「カ」が含まれた名前だと思うなあなんだろう<笑>ヨシアと言います The name is Yoshia. Hmm. So, Canon is the nickname given for、um, him working as the furniture servant. And Yoshia is the, one of the parts of the real name. I'm curious. Is, I wonder if Yoshia is going to be like a part of a hint later on. It, 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 it kind of strikes my curiosity in a way. So it's like, hmm. Really makes me wonder. <laughs> Jessica tried tracing out various characters in the palm of her hand. Then, Cannon used his own finger to write out his name on her hand. <laughs> Your weird name, Jessica? So, I'm not sure. I don't know. When, when it comes to the Usher or Mia family, I really tend to question why they give like, names based off of love. Like Western terms. So it's like, well, okay, well, the Ushiromiya family, and then we have the, like, you know, the uh, the foundation uh, within, uh, within Roken, Rokenjima, which is all Western expired. So、and、that applies to, in which is probably, you know, maybe Kinzo came up with that idea too. So it's like, well, it's all set in stone. お嬢様のジェシカって名前だってあそれもう一回言ってえ<笑>お,お嬢様のジェシカってもう一回 !One more time! お,お嬢様のジェシカって名前だってその何か She, she probably meant it. Maybe she's telling you to say Jessica san or something. I don't know. <laughs> or not. Well, that was a bit awkward. <laughs> the red, red flowers of the rose garden seemed to celebrate the two lovers whose feelings had finally connected. The scene was watched by not one human who gazed out quietly from beneath the rose garden arbor. Well, it's a, it's a damn good thing I fixed the fucking mic. Just like the first two、uh, videos were fucked at the mic audio, so it's like hopefully I don't fuck that one up. I didn't even want to bother re recording it, so it's like, ugh, fuck. Come to think of it. Ah,、oh, this is chick. Now we're in the Golden Lands, Chick Viato. Come to think of it, those two had never called each other by their names until now. Jessica hadn't known Cannon's true name. Cannon hadn't called Jessica by her name. When people call each other by name, they acknowledge the worth of the other's soul. That's why names are sacred. They sure are, that's for damn sure. If the names are sacred, then would that mean the name, if the sacred names would be also be a hint or a clue to us that's such? Why names are sacred? When you've, given, when you've been given permission to say someone's name, it means they've acknowledged your soul. No, that's probably wrong. When father sees me, it reminds of that other me, the past me. 
and I'm sure that me called father by name. However, that probably doesn't mean father would be happy to hear me call him by his name. After all, I am me, and not the Beatrici father knows well. What can I do to help father? How can I be useful to him? After all, that's the only reason I was born. Hanging her head, Beatrici sat all alone in the Golden Lands Arbor next to the Rose Garden. And she was watched by the witch of theater going in her Miko as they sat across from each other. And I thought I was the only one that would make that comment. Yeah, but this is the this is the different Beato that Battler revived and not the you know, the old version. Yeah, just because it's that just because it's Beato Ricci doesn't mean it's the same thing. It's just, you know this is just this is the same one but by a different B, you know. <laughs> exactly. It may be that by the rules, this Beato is the Beato. However, saying that would be horribly unfair to her. Compared to the young boy and girl who had found new versions of themselves by calling each other by their true names, this witch looked very feeble. The witch knew that she was an illusion created in the image of the person she once was. And she also knew that it would only hurt Battler if she were to try and pretend to be that person. That is pretty confusing right there. She was created to be this video's service to Battler, so she was born for Battler's sake and eventually commits some serial murder and then oh, and then Balor gets dragged into the game and call it the eternal loop of the game itself that's a wait can that really happen from six years ago though because i don't i know it's gonna sh i know it's gonna show me that sort of answer later on from six years ago but i don't recall i don't think they ever showed me for the six years ago because episode four says like um, do you remember the sin from six years ago or something like that? And it's like, okay, well, what? So there's that. Well, people can change. At the very least, Beata Ricci was once a pure creature who was born for Badler's sake. It's also very clear that in her current feeble state... She doesn't possess any of the courage or motivation needed to bring about such fearsome serial murders. That means the sinister witch we all know must have changed during the thousand years since her birth.
ほんの2週間の月日でさえも100年の魔女を名乗るにふさわしい永遠となり得るのだ。So what you're saying that time does fly fast in a way. <laughs> God, I wish that could work out that way. In other words, the pure Beato transformed into the cruel Beato. During six years that could be called a thousand. So, does that mean something bad happened during those six years that made her hate Oni chan? Excuse me. That made her hate Oni chan. その6年間お兄ちゃんは六軒島はおろか後宮家の席から抜けてさえいるのよ I hope I had that muted because that would be disgusting anyway She was not only stayed away from Rokujima he even stopped using the Ushiromiya name Yeah その変化にお兄ちゃんは何の関係もない Yeah A misdirected hatred. <laughs> I... Like, what is this shit? Oh, yeah, got it on your way, this stuck. お紅茶でもお入れしましょうか熊沢さん知りたいことがあります<笑>はいはい何でしょうか私はベアトリーチェという名前なんですよねいやベアトリーチェディネスン The innocent girl version conversing with Kumasawa Granny. So, this is Tomo. Ojo Sama Beatrice Sama de Gozaimas Tomo. Demo Oto Sama Gacchini Sir Beatrice to you, Jim Butsua. But as no cotto de Varimasa. So, Leva. お父様は私にその人であってほしかったように思いますだから私がその人にどれほど似ていても別の人間なので失望されたのではないでしょうか He was disappointed because no matter how much I looked like her I am a different being そんなことはございませんよお嬢様はお嬢様ベアトリーチェ様ご自身ですとも新しくお生まれ変わりになる時以前の記憶を失ってしまっただけでございますよたとえ記憶をなくされようともお嬢様はベアトリーチェ様 I mean at least he revived you with the like the vessel of the Or, like, barely a resemblance, so. Oh, yeah, Katasama no I said it, oh, Katato. Do it's Jim, but they go, I must tomo. So no, Kyok to you know, do you ever to remodel Scotto got a Kimaska? So leva. You know, that's a good question, right? The how, how does she. How does a character suffering with amnesia can、um, have some sort of possibility of regaining the memories? Or, you know, better yet, maybe. I mean, I watch enough like, TV shows and like, movies to like, kind of understand like, the, the perspective of, it, of an amnesiac. So, well, I think it takes slow. I don't recall. Uh, although, and I could be wrong, but I feel like it takes like slow steps and very various amounts of、uh, 
men- what's the word? Mental progression, in a way. Beato looked at Kumasawa with hopeful eyes, as though praying that she would tell her the way. Kumasawa averted her gaze unhelpfully, as though trying to say that she'd like to if only such a way existed. そ、それならお話はできますけれど But 私はお父様のために生まれてきましただからお父様の望む黄金の魔女ベアトリーチェになりたいんです Well, that is true, but you you also have got to work for it, though. It's the thing. If you wanted to become the one that Badler or Kinzo wanted. Be- Beatrice-sama. それを学びましょう。私はお父様に産んでもらったことへの私が示せる唯一の恩返しです。I see that. Oh wow. And they added the the different sprite change of the uh, Beatrice uh, with tears in her eyes. けなげじゃない。千年を間違えなきゃ最高にいい子だわ。魔女のヒナ。なかなか面白きかな。気に入ったぞ、エンジェ。そのヒナの娘に我が諸子を許すがいい。魔女の世界へ帰る扉を開い
The same thousand years. You may either receive the journey or turn back. お茶を飲んでいるだけで過ごしたくないんです。お父様のために。このベアトリーチは生まれてきました。だから、お父様のために生きようと思います。教えてください。黄金の魔女。This is going to be quite a bit of an interesting one on the song. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Just a little bit of a background noise for, for a bit of a notion. So let's proceed on forward. I want to get more interesting things in mind. The Great Witch spread her arms, communicating the others' unbending determination to the brilliant heavens. At that moment, a brilliant light covered the two of them. And before they knew it, they were in a strange study. We got transported to the study place. <laughs> oh, we're back here. There sat the master of this library, the great old witch and her Miko. Virgilia gave a deep and elegant bow. <laughs> Oh. So we have Virgilia, Angie, and um, Feathery in this room. しばしの間我が諸子を自由に閲覧する資格を与えようぞ。我が巫女エンジェ。その方に世話を命ず。はいはい、お任せよ、我があるし。素直にそなたの物語が見たいと言えばいいのに。Let me read your story. You will see to her needs. Uh. Oh god. <laughs> I, I was making a... I was kind of... I was semi-joking about uh, Angie and Chick Beato going to be, become friends. And, well, uh... <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is so, this is so awkward. This is like colleague. This is like Miko colleagues of the such. Yeah, Angie has like no words. You know, that's the thing, right? If, if Beatrice is going to become the, uh, the wicked one from the thousand years and proceeding with Angie, I wonder how this will go again, uh, once again. Excuse それが私の生まれてきた理由です。彼女の煉獄を巡る旅が快適であるよ。そして保護が与えられるよ。無限と有限の魔女プブリウスワルギリアマロの名において養成します。
反撃の魔女の巫女にして無限の魔女反言の魔女見習いエンジェベアトリーチェの名において了承する者なりやと奉ったり踏んだり蹴ったり To your request, Angie Beatrici. Featherine snorted. Anatomo Beatrice to you, no? So you're not only Chick Beat, though. We also got Angie Beatrici. And anyone can bear the title of Beatrici、uh, as if they work hard enough, in a way. <sighs> あなたのことはよく知ってるわ教えてください私がどんな私だったのかええだから教えてあなたがどうしてあなたになったのか<笑>あなたの行くにはこれまでのそなたのゲームの物語のかけらがすべて書物として収められているそれを読むことでそなたはこれまで何があったかのすべてを知ることができるだろうそれを読めば私は黄金の魔女になれますか That's gonna... I mean, why, why, why wait a thousand years when you can just read the previous、uh, episodes, you know? 黄金の魔女を継承するには黄金の碑文を解かねばならぬそしてその試練はたとえベアトリーチェ本人だとしても免れることは許されぬ。頑張りますですから私に書庫の本を読ませてください。本当にけなげだわ。Admirable and very self-determined. わざわざあんなのになんで戻りたがるんだか。You're really gonna... Lose your, lose your sense of innocence. So, no, I think I don't know. I'm not sure. 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 Angie sighed resignedly. No words would stop this girl's feelings of respect. Angie was the Miko of the witch of theater going. She could do nothing but watch over the stage. That's right, they weren't actually interfering with the play. This was just a bit of directing to shine the spotlight onto the tale of Vieto's past. Even this was nothing more than the witch of theater going watching a play. <laughs> かつてのベアトリーチがどのような人物だったかを知るだろうしかしそこから何を得られるかはそなたが決めるがよい書庫にとどまるも自由立ち去るも自由再び戻ることさえも自由だその対価として私はそなたを感激する感激とは I see. 要するに好きにしていいって意味よ。Yeah, do whatever you like. あ,ありがとうございます。青木さん、えっと。She is a very stumped. On how to address her. Fezarine, the Yobuto, Yorokobuayo. Arigato gozaimas. Fezarine, Sama.
After being welcomed in by Feathery, Beato left on a journey to discover herself. That tale connected the old tale with the new one. It wove them together. The thousand-year-old tale about her return to its starting point becoming a snake eating its own tail. The ring of that snake began slowly, bit by bit, to turn into the shape of a small island floating on the sea. And that was Rokinjima. A thousand years of the witch born on this island were tied to the island. Was it a thousand years or just six? Or did this tale start even further back into the past? Beata Ricci went out on a journey to find herself. And there she goes, going on an adventure to find out the truth of how she wants to be. Hmm. Well, we're now in a very bit of a windy storm right here, so we'll just leave it at that. So, next part. Let us see what's going on within this stormy weather. With that said, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one. And I say later, I mean bye-bye.